Hey friends, thank you so much for clicking on our video. We realize that there are tons of YouTube videos out there that you could have clicked on, and we are honored that you clicked on our video and chose to spend some of your precious time with us. Thank you so much, friends. Hey friends, welcome to Llama Mama Kayla and Big Daddy's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla. And I'm Big Daddy. We want to welcome you to our channel. We have had a lot of new subscribers lately, and so I thought we would just do a welcome and introduction video and tell you about us and tell you about what to expect on this channel, what our channel is all about. And just give you a little information about us. Right? Right. I don't know how you got here, but I'm excited that you are here to join us and join in on our videos. I normally put out a video every day unless I'm sick and just cannot do it. Otherwise, I try my best to put out a video every day. Now, that video could be about anything. <laughs> It usually is. <laughs> and my videos are here for your convenience. They're there. When you get time to sit down and watch YouTubes, my videos are there for you. Don't stress out about you got to watch that video today or feel like you're late watching a video. That's not true. It's there for your convenience. And so enjoy at your leisurely time. <laughs> But anyway, so let's tell a little bit about ourselves. What? Why have I got to tell it? I don't know. <laughs> I'll tell about me. Okay. Well, first, I'll tell about us in general. Okay. We live in Monroe, Louisiana. Both was born and raised in... I was born in West Monroe. Where were you born? Monroe? Monroe. Okay. <laughs> we're, we've lived here all our life. Um... We have been married 34 years. 34 years. We got married in 1990. And... We've been married 33 years. I don't know. And we'll be 34 in October. Okay. Ooh, We're yeah. about to hit 34 years. Yeah. I think I can round it up. A couple of months. <laughs> round it up a few years. Huh? Uh, we've been married our whole life. <laughs> Um, we have two sons. Dakota is 32 or 3. He was born in 92, 32. so he's 32. Elijah is 24. We'll be 25 this year. Yeah, so we have a dog. Phoebe is a little chihuahua. We have Sissy and Sassy, or cats. They like to show up in videos. Yeah. Sassy likes to help me crochet. She sits there and judges me, so you don't have to. Sassy does it for you. And let's see. What else about us together? We live way out in the country. Yep, we live way out in the country, and we just got internet. Yeah, we just got internet. <laughs> I've had a YouTube channel all these years, and we did not have internet at our home, but we've made it work. It was a lot of work to make that work, but it went, it went it work. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, let's see. So, I have always been a stay-at-home mom. I raised my kids. I homeschooled my kids from little bitty to college. Um, they never went to public school. Their first experience in school was college, and so they both went to college. And Talk about a shock. And um, yeah, so I've always been a stay-at-home mom, and Big Daddy's always worked and provided for his family. We thank you very much. <laughs> Let's see. So talking about me in general. Okay, so um, I'm 53 years old. I'm not ashamed of that. Um, I've earned these years. 
<laughs> I've earned these years. And let's see. I love crocheting. I started out loom knitting. And then I switched over to crocheting in about 2019, I believe. Either the end of 2018 or 2019. I um, switched over to crocheting and never looked back. I just um, I love to crochet. I love to create. I like art. And, um, you did a lot of art stuff before that, though, with the boys. And yeah, I've always did art type stuff. Yeah. But I like to create. I'll, I'll, I have to be doing something creative or I'm, you know, not happy. <laughs> I have to have a creative outlet. So I need to keep you a box of crayons from now on. That's right, because I like to do that. Okay, so... um. I have a lot of health issues. As you can see, one of my health issues is Raynaud's. And so, over the years, I have lost fingers one by one. I started losing fingers in 2013. So, when I learned to crochet, I had already lost fingers. Um, and then I also have lupus, scleroderma, and some more autoimmune diseases that you know I might mention from time to time as things come up but I do deal with a lot of health issues but I try not to let that run my life although sometimes it does just take over but um, I try not to be like um, I'm trying to think of the word what word am I looking for um, I try not to let that dictate my life. I try to carry on and have a life outside of being chronic illness and in chronic pain. I do have a feeding tube um, on the left side of my stomach here, a dangler. It's a tube that hangs out. There may, you know, you might can find some videos on my YouTube about it. Sometimes I will do like a feeding tube awareness videos and things like that. On the right side of my body, I have a pain pump that has morphine in it that's giving my body morphine 24 hours a day. And then um, I have a port right here um, to use for. Infusions. Infusions, IV, blood draws, and stuff like that. I'm very thankful for that port. And so, um, I, the reason I have a feeding tube is because scleroderma hardened my esophagus. And so, my esophagus doesn't work like yours does. Contracts food and pushes, you know, contracts and pushes food down. Mine does not do that. So, I can eat mashed potatoes. Ice cream, applesauce, no um, sauce, no. stuff like that. Um, pudding. Yeah, I can eat some things like that. I don't always want to eat those things, but that's the things I can eat. <laughs> but yes, I have lots of doctor visits. Um, when you live in chronic pain with chronic illnesses, you have to find joy. In other, you know, any way that you can, you have to create your own happiness <laughs> and try to get out, get out of your head. You know, when you're living in so much pain and with chronic illnesses, you have to um, focus on other things. And so crocheting is one of the things that I can focus on and try to get my pain out of my head and focus on my crocheting. Until my hands start hurting. <laughs> and I can't crochet. It's time to take a break. And then I have other things, other hobbies that I do. I might have a doll or two in my home. And I collect. <laughs> or two. <laughs> I collect dolls. And um, I have a special vintage doll named Patina. Who's a poodle from 1966 from Japan. So she is one of my special dolls, and um, yeah. So some other things that 
you know, I might bring in some of those type of hobbies and stuff. So, Big Daddy, you want to tell about yourself? I'm 55 years old. I am the compliance officer for a uh, major uh, drug and alcohol rehab center. Uh, my hobbies? What are my hobbies? Bugging me. Bugging you. Getting yeah. on my nerves. Exactly right. That's, that's the most fun. Uh, I like to uh, write. I like to uh, shoot. Not competitively or anything, but skeet shoot, trap shoot, things like that. Uh, uh, I don't know. Work. My life is pretty much work. Come home. But I do like to write. I've written a book. Uh, but just released, actually. So. Show him the picture of your book. We have ordered some of his books, but since we ordered like a quantity of them, they haven't come in yet. That's the book. It is available on Amazon. Mm -hmm. I think I'm putting a permanent link. I think I have a permanent link in my description box below yeah. this video. But um, yeah, it's available I'm, as an ebook or paperback. I'm proud of him for putting out that book because he writes short stories all the time. He used to write for a magazine. Mm -hmm. I used to write short stories for a magazine. They were all outdoor stories, and most of my stories are centered on the uh, the outdoors, hunting, fishing. Just the outdoor lifestyle. This book, however, is going went off in a completely different direction. That I, but I'm I'm really proud of it. I like it. Um, like she said, we have the two boys that were a handful <laughs> and still can be. <laughs> Our boys have never gave us any Major trouble. Handful, don't you think they had? <laughs> um. <sighs> So, um, what else about you, Big Daddy? He's a very good husband. I try. He's an awesome dad. He's always been an awesome dad and a very good husband. I had a big health scare last year. Yes, last... September. September. A year ago. We almost lost him. Yeah. Stress. Okay. Stress will do crazy things to you. Remember that. But, uh, yeah, I had a, uh, a light stroke at work on a very important day at work. So they had to postpone that big day for a few weeks. But, but yeah, wasn't exactly fun. But it happened. I lived through it. We're better on the other side. Yes. So. And Big Daddy, music you like? Elvis. Come on. Big Daddy's a big Elvis fan. You have to ask that question. He loves Elvis. He's always got Elvis blaring in the car. You darn right. He's always watching an Elvis movie or an Elvis concert. Or a documentary about Elvis, yeah. I like my Elvis. <laughs> but he also likes Westerns yeah. and stuff. John, John Wayne, Wayne yeah. Just trying to think of some more stuff about you so they can know you better. Um, anything else you can think of you want to say about yourself? Yeah. He used to be a big outdoorsman, like hunting and fishing, oh, yeah. uh -huh. duck hunting. But in his mind, he's still that person. Just like I'm still the same person I used I was, to be. I was going to touch on that. But what? You know, not being able to get out outdoors like I used to. Uh, yeah. Age catches up with us, you know. Health and, catches up with us. And he has bad knees that bend backwards. They don't bend backwards. I mean, they hyperextend sometimes. Yeah. They don't bend backwards. You know, well, like hyperextend. That's the best way to describe it. They do go backwards. <clears throat> um, so, he can't get out and do those things that he really wants to do. Yeah. But in his mind, he still is going to do it. He still buys a hunting license. He don't go hunting. <laughs> anyway. The um, money goes to a good use. Yeah. Okay. 
It does. Um, what else about you? I don't know if you hadn't asked me in my mind, would have had something in it, but it just goes blank. I'm oh, sorry to put you on the spot. So someone asked our engagement story, and I'm sorry to say that there's no romantic story there. <laughs> we just got married, okay? <laughs> we were dating. We spent all our spare time together. She's um, like, by the way, we're getting married in October. Gotcha. Hey, okay. One time we were at a park and he said something about us getting married, but I didn't really think it was serious. I don't know, I didn't take it serious. And then later, some people we knew got married and we were like, well, we could do that. We were talking about them getting married and then we was like, well, I guess we, we could do that. I mean, and then we just, somehow or another, we decided we was getting married. We started planning the wedding. So it was no big romantic engagement or he did give me a promise ring at one point. Well, you got you an engagement ring too. Oh, did you? Yeah. I don't remember. That was thirty something years ago. <laughs> it was like fifty years ago. <laughs> um, so anyway, we had a very nice wedding. Mm -hmm. We had a beautiful wedding. I had bridesmaids, he had um Groomsmen's. We had a seven-layer cake, seven tiers, seven tiers cake. with a fountain. Mm -hmm. I had a beautiful dress. I mean, we we had a very nice wedding. We paid for it. We put it together and did all that. Yep. And got married down at the Pentecost Church. <laughs> I think I went to work the next day. No, you didn't. We took the weekend okay. off. We didn't go anywhere. We stayed in our apartment that weekend. We didn't go anywhere for an, another couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Then we went to Hot Springs, yeah. Arkansas for our honeymoon. It was nice. It was. It was. The thing I remember about the whole trip is that it was hot as you can imagine. Like it was hotter than hotter up there. So we stopped to get some ice cream. We went through a little drive through to get some ice cream. I got a cup of ice cream. And you got a cone of ice cream. You remember that? Mm -hmm. We end up having to pull over and he had to get out of the truck to eat his ice cream because it was melting and dripping off his elbow. It was running everywhere. <laughs> that's, the, that's the only thing I remember. Uh, we did see, um, oh, what was his name? Travis Tritt. Travis Tritt. Is that mm -hmm. Aki Ricky Hart? No. Who? Travis Tritt. Oh, Travis Tritt. He sang, uh, he actually debuted the song, Here's a Quarter. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Maybe hey, Magic so. Springs out here. Yeah, so we did see Travis Tripp then. Went to Magic Springs and spent a day, and I don't know, we just went yeah. around town. Back then, we could walk the strip yeah. downtown, yeah. Hot Springs. We could walk that now. Back then, nowadays, we can't. It is not handicap friendly, <laughs> let me just say. It is not. <laughs> But, um, so some things you might expect to see on this channel, different videos. Uh, of course, you will see crochet videos, crochet and chat, crochet with me, a few tutorials. I'm not like a main tor tor tutorial, tutorial channel. I am more like a crochet vlog channel where I'm vlogging my crochet journey, vlogging my life and one day when I'm no longer here, those videos will be there for my children if they choose to watch them, which they probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably like, I already know all that. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I do more like a crochet vlog and talk about, you know, my day and the highs and the lows and uh, everything, you know. I'm a tell-it-all person. I'm open book. Um, tell too much information. If you want to know. Most of the time, yeah. If you want to know TMI, come on. I got you. Um, so I might do like crochet flip through of books. Um, I show finished projects, knitting machine, craft with me's, um, Okay, I do some adult coloring with colored pencil videos, 
so it might be a color with me videos um, art journal different things like that and let's see um, sometimes Big Daddy might read a story he, he has before he says he will in the future he hasn't but you never know that could happen <laughs> Okay, so a lot of our viewers are homebound or um, can't get out and shop and they don't drive or something, you know. So we do try to take our viewers out and about, take them on Shop With Me videos. We take them around town and just show them different places. And so we like to, um, you know, take them with us. So there, there's videos like that on here where we might go to like um, the zoo or an event or just driving around town mm -hmm. just so they see what Monroe, Louisiana looks like. <laughs> and I um, often go to doctor visits in Shreveport, Louisiana. So we usually vlog that, make some kind of little vlog out of it just to, you know, take you along with us if we go somewhere over there well you get to see where we go yep might be the bass pro might be the blind tiger might be anywhere sometimes i do doll openings when i get a new doll in or show my dolls or my doll room um i like to open those little surprise balls the zuru mini brands surprise balls those are my favorite and so I do videos of those sometimes. Um, so you never know what kind of video is going to be here. But we're going to have fun. We're going to have fun. And I'm going to enjoy it. And it's your choice if you enjoy it or not. <laughs> sometimes you just have to make that choice to enjoy videos. So, yeah, I go to all kinds of stores, um, craft stores, Joann's, Michael's. Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree, Walmart, Five Below, Target, you know, that's you might normals, Ollie's. So you just never know. Um I have a boatload of projects that I'm always working on. I have a boatload of projects that I need to work on. I love art. I love to um create with art so you may see colored pencils, watercolors, acrylics, all kinds of stuff like that. You got this whole list made up. Yeah. Um, we'll talk about yarn, new yarns, projects with new yarn, and things like that. So I'm just, you know, wanted to give you like a, so you're not shocked <laughs> when you come on here. And like I said, yeah, we'll be going to places, taking little field trips. We took one this past Saturday to Black Bayou and took you guys along with yep. us. And I know a lot of people enjoyed that because that's the only way they're going to see a swamp in Louisiana is if we take them there. And yep. so we did. <laughs> But anyway, I have a whole list of things that I plan to do videos on, and you just need to be here. Sometimes I do Q&A videos where I just go through and answer questions that have been in the comments. So, yeah. Anything else you want to add, Big Daddy? I think you about covered it. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to give you all, guys all a idea of who we are where we're at and what we're doing what what is this all about <laughs> we just recently did open memberships on our channel remember i said that i do a video every day here that is not going to change that is the same there will as as long as i am able to get up out of the bed and make a video there will be a video every day Unless something changes with my health and I have to change that, but that's the way it's been and that's the way I plan. But um, we did open memberships because that is the thing that YouTube wants you to do. And so we did that and we do have like right at 100 members. Mm -hmm. 
and I think we're too shy from 100 members, so we need two more people to reach the 100. And that was the goal that YouTube did give me. And we're very thankful for that. Sure. Um, if you become a member, what you get over there is more of us. If you can stand us. <laughs> you get more of us being more silly, uh, more laid back. We'll be doing a members only lives. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing I have not been doing on my channel. I don't do lives. You haven't done lives. Yeah, I have not done lives. You and do now. I'm doing lives for members only. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you can't become a member, do not worry about that. No worries whatsoever. You're not missing anything. I'm still here every day. I'm still here every day. I'm just giving a little extra to people who want to be members, okay? And they're going to get lives. So, you're not really missing anything. You're not. <laughs> you're still going to get too much of me. <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let me think. Is there anything else? Uh, some people did get mad because we opened memberships. But, you know, that's just that's part of YouTube. You can choose to get mad about that, or you can choose joy and be happy for us that we have that opportunity. That's your choice, what you want to choose. I can't control how you feel. With the daily content, it's not going to change. Yeah, the daily content is still going to yeah. be here. So, if, anyway. Um, so, yeah, I was just looking to see what other notes I might have wrote down. But... I don't know. Um, I'm just excited that you did decide to click on our videos and subscribe. Like I said, we have gotten a lot of new subscribers lately. And, um, you know, and I get some questions. And I just wanted to try to answer those on this video. And let you guys know that you're in for a wild ride. <laughs> if you choose to stick around. <laughs> But yeah, thanks for joining us today and coming back in every day. If you hadn't hit that subscribe button, you can hit that and hit that bell so that you do get notifications when YouTube sends those out. And um, anything else? No. All right, you guys. Covered it. I'm going to let you all get going. We read at the 30 minute mark, and that's really longer than I planned to go, but I just got to talking. <laughs> We'll see you all in the next video, friends. Love you all. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. We enjoyed hanging out with you. Please consider subscribing to our channel if you enjoyed our video. We have lots more videos coming every day of the week. So check back with us. We'll see you all in the next video. It's a beautiful day to crochet.